Hey guys, it's me Ram here and in today's video I'm going to be breaking down Nishan Swaminathan's 4.06 mean of 3 on 2 by 2. Alright, so here's the first scramble at the top of the screen now. He got a 2.61 on this scramble which is pretty good. So, you build the red layer like this. Which is pretty good at say and then you got this really easy CLL. However, as you don't know full CLL, I'd suggest you just use Ortega for this solve. Particularly because it's just a 3 move face like this. And it's really easy to trace the OLL case. At the end of this video, I'm going to be showing you guys examples on how to trace the OLL case as well. So in your case, you could have just done this. And then got this really easy case followed by just the Ortega. One more thing I'd like to point out, for this particular CLL case, predicting the AUF is really simple. Basically, this bar will just move here. So you'll have two whites that'll move here, which means it's a U2 AUF. U2. The reason I pointed this out was because you were a little unsure about the AUF and I figured I'd point it out because it's actually really simple. Alright, so here's the second scramble at the top of the screen now. He got a 5.01 on the scramble, which is not so great because his face was also not very efficiently made. So what you did for this face was red. What you did was you rotated and then inserted this piece like this. One general advice I'd like to give you, you must never make your face on the left because it, the rotation that you do will cost you a lot of time and it's honestly not worth doing it on the left because if you do it at the bottom, you won't have to rotate and it's much easier to predict the OLL case. So what I do instead for this is just basically just do this. Bring this piece up like this and then just insert it. After that, you just did your regular OLL case, which was pretty standard, but you did do a Z2 rotation and then do this algorithm to solve your PBL, which is really not that great. What I'd suggest instead is rotating this way and doing this. This may seem like a lot of moves, but it's just so much faster to execute. Alright, so here's the last scramble at the top of the screen now. He got a 4.56 on the scramble which is also pretty good but not the best. So what you did for this face is you did white, you did U, R, U, R and then inserted this piece and that too on the left. There's honestly no point in doing such a long face because first of all, it makes it extremely difficult to trace your OLL case and secondly, it's on the left, so you'll have to rotate. And thirdly, it's seven moves long, much longer than what an average face should be. Instead, what I'd suggest is either one of these two things. You could do blue, which is basically just R, U2, R. Or you could do something like white itself which is just U prime R U R2. After this, what you just did was your lefty soon, but I'd not suggest this algorithm, especially because you could just do a U prime and then do this anti soon. It's much faster to execute as well rather than the left soon. And overall, I just suggest you switch to that algorithm. And finally, you just did a U and then the regular PBL algorithm, which was fine. For your overall feedback, I'd suggest you to make your faces more efficient and less moves and to build them on the bottom and start tracing the OLL case. Making faces on the left will hold you back from being faster than where you are and overall I'd recommend getting used to building faces on the bottom as soon as possible. Alright, so like I promised, I'm going to be giving you guys examples on how to trace the OLL case from the first face. Scramble is on top right now. So for this, we are going to be building this face by just doing L prime, U and then L. So for this case, we see we have this yellow piece at the back, which is not going to be affected. L prime will just push it back. U will not do anything and L will just bring it back here. So we have one piece right here. Then this piece will just slide over here because L prime won't do anything. U will bring it over and the last L prime won't do anything either. 
then we have this piece which is going to get affected by an f move i just have that memorized so we have this one as well so now we know this is an h case so you can just go straight into the algorithm like that all right so the second scramble is on top now for this we are going to be doing r2 to build this face followed by u and then just inserting so for this we'll start with this piece r2 will push it back u won't do anything and r prime will just bring it back here let's continue to this one r2 won't do anything u will bring it over and r prime will bring it down so we have these two pieces right here let's continue with this one r2 won't do anything u will just push it at the back and r prime won't do anything either so we've got this one this one and this one and that means it's a soon case with this corner up here Okay, and the last scramble is at the top of the screen now. So for this, we are going to be building blue. We'll be doing an R and then pairing it up at the back and then inserting it with another R. So let's start with this piece. R will bring it up. U2 will push it here and R won't do anything. So we got one piece at the back here. Let's move on to this one. R will bring it here. U2 will just bring it over and the next R won't do anything. So we've got this one and this one. Let's continue with this one. R will bring it up. U2 won't do anything and R will bring it just back up. So we've got this, this and this and we know the last corner will be here and it's an L case. So that's about it for today's 2x2 critique. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed and bye.